All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Another Bourbon Show. Uh, tonight, we're going to be drinking something else that uh, that Ryan provided. Uh, this is, uh, tonight we're drinking Cedar Ridge, but that's that's all I know. Tell, me, tell us all about it, Ryan. Cedar Ridge, also known as Heartland's Bourbon, a coin they, um, uh, they came up with. Uh, no one yeah, else can is... use that, by the way. Stop fucking knock it off, everybody else. Yeah. It's not trademarked, though, so... Uh, uh. Uh, Cedar Ridge. This is Iowa Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So this is a uh, a product out of Iowa, very popular in Iowa. Forty three percent alcohol by volume and aged a minimum of three years. This is uh, batch number seven four twenty two. And um, yeah, I guess fucking July fourth of twenty twenty two. That's seven four two two. July fourth. And that's a star spangled fucking label right there. Damn right. This Yankee might be doodle label. This might be a uh you know uh LTO version of the label. Um I can't remember if they've went to this full time or not, but don't quote me on that. Um this is made in Iowa, distilled and bottled in Iowa. So I don't believe it any of their stuff comes from MGP. So this is straight Iowa bourbon whiskey. And uh, I have a little background on this that I feel like you guys would find interesting. So this is the highest selling bourbon in the state of Iowa. It beats Jim Beam. It beats Maker's Mark. Um, it outsells. I know it's not bourbon, you know, whatever. Jack Daniels. Um, it's, um, I think, ahead of the second bourbon in the state by 35%. So Jesus, and it's the only craft distillery to lead its state in sales um, two years in a row uh, in the bourbon market. So, um, yeah, craft distillery out of Iowa outselling Jack Beam, make any other any other whiskey by 35 percent. So it's pretty crazy. That's insanity. Yeah. It really is. I mean. It hasn't picked up like that in Illinois, you know, not to knock it or anything like that. Yeah. But um, it's really got some some hometown uh, support behind it. Very cool. So out of Swisher, Iowa. Not how much sure How much was that bottle or how much so is it? Usually, you, uh, you know, you could find it for like, I think Benny's is running it like 25 bucks right now. Okay. You know, you usually find it between 25 and 30. So 86 proof. So it's, you know more than the standard 80 proof that you see at this price range okay steven what do you think about that yankee doodle dandy label well i think it's in your face you know i mean it's right up front even down to i mean it says i like the font i was straight bourbon whiskey you know like fucking yeah and i like to touch that even the like the 43 percent to me is kind of aggressive like they're like we're not going to hide behind a fancy little proof number Okay, you're looking at 43% alcohol by volume. All right, that's what you're looking at. <laughs> Take it or leave it, you know. And it says age, like the age statement right there too. It's like, bam, bam. Here's facts. Here's a fucking date up top. How are you gonna deal with that? And it just feels like <laughs> it's, it speaks to you know. I think part of its success in Iowa that I'm surprised to hear, frankly, I think part of it can be attributed to how upfront it tells you, like, hey, you're from Iowa, so are we. You know, don't hide that. Know what your strengths are. I think. Um, I will alone, who gives a fuck about Illinois or whatever? Like I will alone is going to support this brand. They don't really need anybody else. I mean, as long as they don't, if, if they didn't have any aspirations to get bigger than that, it's like, you can make a living being the highest selling bourbon in Iowa. Of course, you know? Uh, yeah. so I think it's, I think it's doing its job really well. Who am I to disagree? I don't think it's, I don't think it's in, all that innovative or whatever, but it's hard to argue with success. So I'm going to go with a six. I think that's a pretty good score. It's a higher score than I would give it probably normally, but it's, it's around the middle. I don't think it's, it's bad. It, there's character to it. Um, and it's, it, it makes some interesting choices. I, I am actually, I keep going back to the percent. I don't know why I just like the huge percent on there. It's ballsy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool, but still middle of the road. But again, who am I to, I, I can't give it a bad score. It's like Jack Daniels. I don't really love old number seven's label. Like I don't love it, even though it's classic, but it's like, who am I to argue with success? I'm like, I can't give it a, a bad rating for that yeah. necessarily. So, so 
yeah, I don't know rating a label. I don't, I don't know, but I will say that I feel like that is the preferred whiskey of January 6th. I'm looking <laughs> at it. That's the one, like, I, I just get a very strong January 6th fen- well, feeling. I feel like, I feel, and maybe this is the same thing you're saying, but I feel like you could also find it in like a Cracker Barrel gift store. That is 100% the shop. same thing. Yeah. <laughs> you said the exact same words. <laughs> it's like right next to like the Garth Brooks calendar. You can also buy this. <laughs> no, Garth Brooks is way too far left for, for the types <laughs> of folks we're talking about. Toby so, Keith. It's right I, uh, next to the Toby Keith calendar. Okay? <laughs> so I, I got this other bottle after I mailed you guys the samples, but I do have a Cedar Ridge barrel proof. Ooh, so, okay. um, you know, we could drink this at a later date, so you don't have to give you a rating on this. But yeah, um, I'll send this sample down whenever I, I do samples again. Okay. And but then, I'm, uh, prob- I'm probably going to try that one tonight, too. Shout out to the bottle shape. Nice functional bottle shape. It's pretty standard. I mean, you see this. There's several bottles that look like this, but I'm always a fan of that bottle shape. I think it does the job just fine. It looks nice. Yeah. It's easy to tell how much you have left, which I think is kind of deceiving on some bottles in yeah. bottle shapes. I I'm kind of used to that shape, so I like yeah. it. Yeah, wide neck too. And when you pour it, it's it's bigger than you think. Um, and it is, you know, it standard looking bottle. It is different though. Um, like if you saw it here in person, it is a different height than oh, you know, bottles that look similar. Mm-hmm. And it is wider, so it is definitely different. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, there it is, Cedar Ridge. Um, All right. Well, yeah. When I heard that, when I saw that stat, and you know, that's something i've heard about about the brand for a while now just because you know i've grown accustomed to it but um i still can't wrap my head around that you know i think there's three million people in iowa or so not it's not like it's wyoming or something you know i figured iowa was bigger than that i figured i was closer to like nine million maybe no no illinois is like 12 or 13. yeah Iowa's like three but how many of those people are okay. bourbon drinkers too? It's like those people are the people that do buy it are buying the shit out of it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, clearly. Well, it is true. So, let's find um, out if mash, people in Iowa know what the fuck they're talking about. It, mash bill, 75% corn, 15% malted, malted barley, 10% rye. So it sounds like the nose. Oof. It's got some bit, alcohol to it. Yeah, quite a bit of burn. Yeah, it's forty three percent in your nose. <laughs> that's yeah. That's it's got some some heat to it in the nose. Oh yeah, but it's got some sweetness to it also, like a like like a honey sweetness. I think. Yep. Yeah, I get the honey and some floral. I think it's kind of a little floral too. Yeah, I can see that. You know, um, I get a little mint to it as well. Yeah, I guess a little. All right, well, a lot of guys. alcohol, though. Yeah, bottles cheers. up. Let's see if uh, I was full of shit. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. This is the first time I've had it, too. Oh, it is? Yeah. Whoa. The finish, I was like, the well, finish is cool. I was like, I like oh, this finish. has like a nice hug and everything. And it was just gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, it fell off a cliff. It fell off. Okay, okay. But it like you get an impact of sweetness. Like, yes, it goes away quickly, but it's a powerful but short finish. Yeah, That's I'm the way saying, I would describe it. Yeah, it was just interesting how like if you graft it. It was like there's a pretty nice finish to it, and but then it's just done. Yeah. It's so, it's weird, man. It's like a piece of gum that you chew, like childhood gum. You chew it, and ten seconds later, it's gone of yeah. all flavor. There's a What's very the, distinct, uh... like a cartoon line. If you did like a dissection of me, you would see like the finish just end. <laughs> big league chew. This is the big league chew of whiskey. Really potent flavor, and then poof, it's gone. The- Sounds what it doesn't leave me with bad breath. I don't know if that may like I it feels 
kind of refreshing and, and minty and clean bit. yeah, yeah. You guys, I think this might be really good. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. It's a $25 bottle. Yeah. Right? In some ways, it reminds me of Switchgrass. I could see that. It tastes young. Yeah, for I sure. I know it, it's three years, but that's a, but it, it's a young three years. Like, um, it could have done well to age a bit longer but with all them all three million islands buying it like they do they don't have time to age it longer yeah and apparently they don't need to i mean if it keeps they don't need to why wait two so, more years and you could get money in your pocket right now the That's barrel right. the barrel proof is only aged three to four years yeah so both uh both pretty young So I, I do get a I do get honey sweetness on it, a uh, little bit of caramel sweetness vanilla. also. A little vanilla, a little vanilla, yeah. Little very almost no oak. Um, the one we're drinking right now, Ryan, this specific bottle is the one that sells more than anything else. Or correct, yeah. yep. And you know, my sister went to college in Iowa. And if I had known it, I would have, we went to a good amount of bars when we were out there because it's Iowa and what else are you going to do? Um, but I'd like to go back and just see the back bar at every, every single place. And if it's there, like, all right, all right. They're not lying. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So if, be you the well. a, <laughs> if you give it a, if you give if you give it a good chew while it's in your mouth, I get a lot of peppery flavor yeah. in it also i don't get that when i just sip it and sw immediately swallow it but if i give it a chew i pick up some um i get the pepper pepper if, spice i yeah. get the pepperiness if i just don't take a drink for a little bit it's it's the part yeah. that lingers in my mouth yeah more than anything else yeah and that's what i thought you were going with like with the switchgrass because the switchgrass that we had well we had a couple of them but the switchgrass rye was the one the weeded rye that we had Mm -hmm. was the one that I think is most comparable to this. And so I think it is that sort of pepperiness and whatnot that stands out. That's pretty similar to it. It's like the pepperiness, but there's some floralness to it too. Yeah. But it's the, the key thing for me to take away that I'll remember from this is just the steep drop off on the finish. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm saying it's bad. Not that I'm saying there's mm -hmm. no finish. It's just weird how like there's a line. It takes it all with it. Like it's like there's nothing that stays residually in your mouth. refreshing i don't know it's weird i so i've been trying to like weigh in my brain what you're saying ryan and the best way i can describe what i think you're saying is it's got a crispness to it yeah it's like, like it, it's crisp it's sharp yeah not saying that it has an apple flavor but like because it does not have an apple flavor in no. my opinion but like um that crispness of a fresh green apple, that crispness is yeah. the sensation I get. Yeah, you, that I think you hit it on the head with that. If you want to be a top selling liquor, you've got to have no finish. I think. <laughs> or you've got to have a really <laughs> soft or short finish because I think that people just want it to be smooth most of the time. Yeah. Steven, can you see faintly the bald eagle behind the Cedar Ridge? I could, yeah, yeah. I, did, yeah, I wasn't okay. sure make, what it was, but yeah. Just making sure, just wanted you to know about the bald eagle. And I'll say that, you know, regardless of my thoughts on the over-the-top theming there, uh, I always am a proponent of put something, if it's just going to be a white background, put something back there, some sort of detail or something. So I applaud them for that. Yeah. yeah. I thought of a question earlier, kind of going off what I was saying about the bottle shape here. What's you guys' like favorite bottle shape in bourbon? I think one of my favorite bottles, for instance, is Legion because it has that one, it's just a solid bottle shape, kind of like this one. I can easily tell what's in it. The weight stays pretty consistent the entire time, no matter how much is in there. And then that the flat top to pour easily without glugging out. Super nice. 
strictly based on bottle shape? Yeah, basically, yeah, the the bottle overall bottle shape. Who has the best bottle shape? For form or function? It could be either one, whichever one matters to you more. Mine is kind okay. of both. I, I think it looks nice too, but yeah, the function is pretty great. I th I might have to go with Michter's 10. Like that, the Michter, the Michter's bottles that are not the US one, right? Like the US one have, which is a fine bottle too, but all of the other ones have the same exact bottle. And I think it's beautiful. And it is a sturdy, stout bottle. And I, I, yeah, I gotta go. It's a little bit like the Michter's bottle and the Angel's Envy, Envy bottle had a baby. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, but just the number, the amount of glass at the bottom, or maybe just barrel. Like, maybe barrels are better than Angel's Envy. Yeah, or Whistle Pig, maybe. Or Whistle um, Pig, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of those, or Elijah Craig, even. Anyway, um, all of those bottles, but just the amount of glass that's at the bottom of that son of a bitch, and like, I think they all have an air bubble that's in there that, that like adds some character to it as well. Um, to make it beautiful, and then uh, just the function of that thick, thick glass. I wish it wasn't a waxed top. I think wax tops are fucking stupid, but we weren't talking about that. We were talking about bottle shapes. I like EH. Ryan, you look beautiful I, right now. I, oh, look at that. You look <laughs> great. <laughs> what is Best going you've on? Best in years. Yeah. I just beat the shit out of my webcam. What the fuck? I'm just going to flick it. Do you think that'll do anything? Yeah, that'll help. I don't know why it wouldn't. Your finger is super in focus right now, though. That's yeah, the it's upside. It. it is. You just need to get to where you're just like a centimeter from your camera. That's all. Is that it? No, yeah, that's closer. it. Closer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now you're good. You just need to do Shit. a better job of having a face consistently for it to find. Right. I think so. I think it's just really looking for head. the presence of a chin. And maybe... <laughs> yeah. It's gone. Oh, I hate this camera. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I like E.H. Taylor. Part of the reason you were saying, Dan, like the glass at the bottom, E.H. Taylor does have that too. You know, good. Not to the same level, dude. No, no, I know. But when the bottle's full... It does look pretty cool. There's the, it's got a nice part of glass down there. You're right. You're not wrong. Yeah. But. Oh yeah, it's definitely, yeah, that's definitely bigger for sure. And but... I don't see an air bubble down there. I thought there was an air bubble. Maybe just I, sometimes there's an air bubble. But I just like that old time, you know, E.H. Taylor bottle. Rock and roll. Very, very old school bottle. Oh, they're they're great bottles. There, there's a lot of great bottles out there. Um, yeah, just looking over there, Angel's Envy is a nice bottle too. So is Yellowstone, like the Yellowstone Special Edition, Limited Editions. It's a nice bottle. Yeah, a lot of good bottles. I, I would say that a VH Taylor, not that it's not good juice. I don't want to come off that way, but I feel like a VH Taylor didn't have such good presentation. It wouldn't be as popular as it is, even even with it being Buffalo Trace, is my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. And and maybe that's the same with Blanton's, too, because Blanton's is so distinctive, you know, and they've got so many cool things happening. Oh, my yeah. God, the cat. Look at the cat right here. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we are having the funniest, like, camera stuff happening right now. I saw her. I knew she was about to go for it because she was looking at the camera. I'm just going to grab a fish and throw it at mine. <laughs> 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 what do you say we, we rate this cedar ridge bullshit let's do it let's do it all right so i'm gonna go with a 6.7 um i think I it's tasty my cat licking her ass by the way go on i didn't want to stop Look at that. Day, but uh we're getting all of it <laughs> <laughs> hey make sure you mark this as uh 18 and over only <laughs> okay, well, you yeah. can't have cats licking their asshole and be for under 18 year olds <laughs> that's when ass licking begins um <laughs> so anyway i'm going with a 6.7 um i think it's a solid pour it was 
tasty. It was crisp. It was refreshing. It was very enjoyable. And out of a, a bottle that sells for $25, holy shit. Like, like what else are you looking for? Um, yeah, it's just, a, it's, it's a solid pour. I enjoyed it. It's tasty. Six, seven. Yeah, I'll, I'll go next. I'm going to go seven, two. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I kept saying how refreshing it was at, like you just mentioned, Dan, and like that crispness of sort of like an apple, but not really. Um, just that vanilla, the caramel. There's something refreshing about it. Yeah, the finish goes away pretty quick, but it leaves you wanting more. It doesn't make your mouth dry. Um, you know, a lot of these $25, $30 bottles, 80 to 80, you know, 86 proof that we see, a lot of them are just real watered down. There's not a lot of flavor, but this, I mean, it, it packs a punch. Um, and for a couple sips there, you try it and you're like, man, this, this feels closer to something in the 94 to hundred range. Uh, even though it isn't, um, I think it's got a really cool backstory and yeah, I'm giving a few extra points because it outsells some of the highest selling whiskeys in the country, uh, for a craft distillery to do that. And even though it, it's Iowa, you know, it's not Illinois, Texas, California, that's still, that, that's, that's something that, that just doesn't happen. Right. It's like RC outselling Coca-Cola. It just it just doesn't happen. And uh, for that reason, yeah, I'm going to give it what? What did I say? 7-2? Seven, 7-2. Two? Seven, two. And the second I sipped this, I was like, this is 7. So I'm going to stick with that. I think it's just, I'm not even going to give it a, you know, point something. It's just 7.0. I think it's just, I like it quite a bit more than Jim Beam White Label. So that's a feat in itself. Anytime we give something over that, because you have to keep in mind, that's one of the highest selling, you know, whiskeys in the United States. So to me, I'd buy this over that. And it's not even that much more expensive. It's also a budget bottle. Um, I think it's insane value if you if you have this in your stores. It's to me, it makes a lot of sense why this goes so quickly. It's not really that big of a, a detriment to me that the finish goes away super quick. Because like I said, most people want it to be smooth anyway. And it's not like there's not a finish there. Like all of us have said, like we've drinking way water, uh, more watery stuff. We've had, you know, stuff that had way less of a finish. This has a lot of character throughout. Um, I think really what knocks it down for me a little bit, and it, as I always say, it's the least important part, is the nose. Um, because there's just, I wasn't picking up a lot on it besides ethanol burn um, and some like floral sweetness. Uh on a to a minor extent but whatever i mean if you're buying cedar ridge it's like i i get it if i was in iowa and i was just looking for a budget bottle i would probably buy this over a lot of the stuff i currently buy for budget bottles just because i'd be supporting you know a local distillery and uh i'd be supporting and, and you know you are because of that obvious bottle and how it just it's 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 upfront it's no compromises it's it's blue collar it's uh it's just a really good whiskey. So yeah, I'm giving it a 7.0 and I would totally drink it again and I look forward to trying the cast strength. It's young, but honestly that rarely bothers me. I don't really care. Like if, as long as I pick up good stuff from it, you aged it enough. You know, that's how I feel. So Yeah. yeah. I feel like the nose smells a lot more young than the actual taste of it. Yeah. I would agree right. with that. And and like and on top of that like um so it's a $25 bottle and typically when uh, something's uh, like inexpensive it's obviously missing something right it's single dimensional is typically the case you don't get complexity from it you get like Evan Williams sweetness you get that type of a characterization I think that Cedar Ridge does a great job of having multiple like complexities on flavor it's lacking in nose and finish and those are the least important nose is 100 percent the least important second least important in my opinion for a 25 dollar bottle i don't expect it to have a finish 
I don't expect like a, on a twenty-five dollar bottle. If it has a long-lasting finish, holy shit, that's fucking shocking. Yeah. Right. But the palette on this is really, really good. That's the reason I think that we're all able to say six, seven, seven point oh, seven point two for those exact reasons right there. So, Stephen, like, like I said, you, you'll be like you ever, all of that. <laughs> no, I didn't. What happened? Did you see it, right? I, I heard the yeah. I heard, the, I heard that. the noise. I saw. I opened up my vial to pour some more, and the little like plastic, you know, they're like whatever that insert yeah, yeah. is. Just... I guess that stayed in, and then oh. like the air pushed it out or whatever. It just... <laughs> 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 the fuck is going on tonight, man? 